Hello friends, this video on coordination work on part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see this bonding in metal carbonyl and why we are studying this uh, special case is because most of the transition metal they form the homoleptic carbonyls. That means only carbonyl is there. For example, in this case, chromium has six carbonyl group, nickel has four. So they form homoleptic carbonyl. This is seen that many transition metals form this. Since you have a lot of carbonyl metal bonding, so we are studying this in a separate section altogether. Right? So, homolytic is carbon uh, compound which is having only carbon oxygen as a ligand, CO as a ligand. Okay? So, this metal carbonyl bonding has both S and P character. I will show you. So what happens is this metal, this is my metal and this is my carbon CO. So this metal and carbon it forms a sigma bond. So this carbon donates the lone pair of electron into the vacant d orbital and it forms a sigma bond. We have seen in most of the case any ligand for example metal with chlorine, right? metal with ammonia. So all these case metal with, uh, take any other example, CN. So all these cases you will see this lone pair of electrons this has a negative charge is donated to the vacant d orbital of metal and it forms a sigma bond that is there. But in this case the pi bond is also formed. So pi bond is formed this metal it not, not only has the empty d orbital in the filled d orbitals of the metal sometimes it has some electrons and that electron forms an bond with a vacant anti-bonding, so this is vacant anti-bonding pi orbital. So you see here this is star. So vacant anti-bonding pi orbital and this is lone pair of electron from filled d orbital and forms a pi bond. Why it is pi? Because this is the second bond is called a pi bond. Right? The first bond is sigma bond, a single bond, double bond is pi bond. So if you see here, in this case, if you see these electrons are from metal and there is a vacant anti-bonding orbital of the carbon, it forms a pi bond. Lone pair of electrons from carbon and vacant d orbital of the metal forms a sigma bond because that is the first one is a sigma bond, second one is a pi bond. Hope you understand. See in the case of sigma bond the electrons are coming from the carbon, in case of the pi bond the electrons are coming from metal. So in case of sigma bond the vacant orbital of metal is used, in case of pi bond the vacant orbital of carbon is used. Okay? But we, when we count the coordination number we count only sigma bond that is what we have seen. So for example in this case for this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 coordination number will not count twice. The sigma bond is not counted. Sorry, the pi bond is not counted when you count for the coordination number. Okay. So if you see just because there is a double bond now, this is a more stronger bond. Okay. This strengths the bond between the carbon, CO and metal. Okay. So that is speciality about this metal carbon bond. We have a pi bonding. And please note when you count the coordination number, only sigma bond is taken into effect. Pi bond is ignored. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.